build a better building and they say the world will beat a path to your door. Well, build one that can withstand an explosion and you just might be able to open a whole new market. And that's what's happening at EBTEC Industrial Building Solutions in Fayette County, Pennsylvania. Companies worked with PPG Industries to develop ballistic panel buildings for modular buildings for the military and even the natural gas industry. Donald Travis is managing partner of EBTEC Industrial Building Solutions. And welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. For folks who don't know EBTEC, it's, it's been in our region for what, about five years? Coming up on five years. Okay. And tell me the story behind what, what brought you to uh, Fayette County. Well, EdTech is a, a wholly owned subsidiary of a private equity group called Unlimited Horizons. And uh, we went out after acquiring the company or in the process of acquiring the company to find a home for it. And this, it was located at the time in St. Louis, in Missouri. St. Louis. Okay, great mm -hmm. town. But. Great town, yeah, absolutely. But when we looked at it, 80% um, of its customers were on the East Coast, so it mm. just made sense to move it east. Okay. So uh, our general manager is a Pittsburgh uh, area guy and he wanted it here so it was really hard to usurp him. Okay very good so those regional champions count for a lot you can never exactly. underestimate that. So how, so what exactly do you all do? EBTEC in its original configuration was a manufacturer of modular buildings, in-plant offices, sound panels, uh, guard shacks, parking lot attendant booths, things like that. I think nature. we have a picture of what one of them looks like. We uh, do. Right? Yeah. That's a climate control building for Amtrak huh. and that keeps the switch gear in a specific temperature range so it always works. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the whole ballistic panel thing and these, are yeah. these uh, buildings that what can withstand an explosion or an attack? Is that the we, idea? Yes. We have, as you know, partnered with PPG Industries located here in town. And with their assistance and uh, some guidance from us, and uh, we've created a terrific partnership that allows us to make some pretty interesting things like what you're looking right, at. What are screen. we looking at there? What you're looking at is a, uh, a guard shack uh, that is ballistically rated. I believe that one can do a 50 caliber round direct hit, including the windows. You'll notice the gun port so you can shoot back if anybody wants to pick a fight and uh, that building will stay. It's not going anywhere. Well, and so the, the panel technology was actually developed by PPG and, and you all correct. are incorporating it into these, into these correct. structures. Correct. We've, we've partnered with PPG. We met some of these folks and they're looking for a home for this technology and we've built quite a few buildings. Many of them are classified, so forgive me if I don't get into the details of it, but uh, uh, over, over there and uh, they're used to protect our team, our soldiers. Wow, that, that's really terrific and, and great to see it resulting from a collaboration here, here in our Indeed. region from, from yeah. two companies. That's really cool. That's Indeed. really terrific. Well, t now you say that the company's owned by, uh, by a private equity group, so do, do, the, do, the, do you own other companies as well? Or? Well, Unlimited Horizons is actively pursuing other acquisitions. We have, uh, this is the last company in our portfolio at, right now, okay. but we are actively looking for more. In, in manufacturing in primarily? We like manufacturing. Yeah. It's about creating jobs, making hmm. it here. So you're one of the believers there is a future for manufacturing in America. Uh, maybe I'm a dinosaur, but I still think that's the case. Yeah, and, and why? What is it that gives you that kind of confidence? Look what we make. Hmm. I mean, you can't make that over there. Any, you can't make that anywhere else uh, and get the same effect. Hmm. You just can't. These are not things where you're building 100 or 200 of the same thing and you can outsource it to a foreign country. You want it to be made here. And many, much of the technology that we use, we can't sell over to anybody else. So because we don't want our people fighting against it. Wow, well that's, uh, that's terrific. Well good luck with that expansion in that way in the investment side. How about for EBTEC itself? Do you, do you anticipate continued growth here in the region? We do. Uh, we've had a, a, a great relationship with economic development. We, uh, ex we first six months we were here we went well past what we said we would do in terms of job creation, economic impact, and space. I mean within the first year we actually had to move. Uh, so we're actually in much, twice the space we were in when we started five years ago and uh, we do expect uh, to continue. Our newest, our newest uh, line of business is uh, the repurposing of boxes, Connex boxes. Okay. We make them into all kinds of things, bunkers and blast resistant modules and we have a military working dog kennel that we sell to the military and uh, to various states and uh, organizations. and. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Great it to is. hear you're making it in America and especially here in our region. Don, Don Travis from EBTEC. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.